come on in. He's talked about us to other people, and it really was inspiring because he acts like we did something special for him, and I didn't feel like we did anything except help him out. Hi, my name is Willie Downs here with Atlas Backyard Sheds, and I'm standing here with George. George, why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, this building here behind us? Well, we bought a 32 by 14, and they came out and built it in one day. It, they did a wonderful job of building the building and leveling it out. We're certainly happy with it. So when did they build this? In March uh, this year. And y'all have been spending the last few months working on it, correct? Right. We started working on it about the early part of June and finishing out the inside and taking care of the plumbing and the sewer. And we had the, had it insulated with foam insulation. And that's about it. We've done a good, had, had a good guy come out and do the insulation for us. And we're running it on a 10,000 BTU air conditioner and it's keeping it, it's shutting off with it 104 degrees. It shuts off every now and then. It runs quite a bit, but it it does shut off. Very good, well, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and go inside and let's take a look at it. Okay. I'll follow you. All right, come on in. Right. This looks incredible. We went to a local cabinet maker and had him build the cabinets for us. And we garage sailed the refrigerator and the stove and the table and chairs. <laughs> and we had uh, the neighbors or moved out over here in our rent house. And they left a couch and a little table for Oscar, who lives here. He's our hired help. And, he stays, he, we had him in a camper and been with us for over a year, so we decided to upgrade him and bring him into a building in the house. Oscar was living down the road in a shack and then he moved across the street and lived with a guy and he was charging him a bunch of money for just a room. And we had him working for us a little bit and we asked him if he'd like to come down here and just move in. We had a camper for him and we let him move into the camper and he's been here for, like I say, over a year living in the camper. It's a small camper and I just, uh, he's done wonderful for us and he's a hard worker and we decided to upgrade his living. Well. We didn't put doors in, we were gonna put doors in, but we thought it would cut down on the amount of space and make the, the building actually smaller. So we left it all open, because he's the only one in here, and we have him a little closet and the shower and the, and the bathroom, and we got him internet service out here so he can watch TV. So what kind of impact do you feel like this has had on Oscar's life? Oh, he... <laughs> it's hard to say. It's, he's, he's talked about us to other people and it really was inspiring because he acts like we did something special for him. And I didn't feel like we did anything except help him out. So tell me a little bit about this, uh, about y'all's experience uh, with this whole process of, of having this tiny house built and, and having it finished out. What would, what would you say was the, uh, the biggest uh, takeaway from that whole experience? Well, <laughs> I think there's a couple of things that we decided that we didn't really think through. Uh, one of them was 
If I was going to do it again, I would get a 16-footer instead of a 14-footer because it, it, it does cramp the space. Uh, the living area is not as large as I'd like it. For Oscar, it's like a super upgrade because he was living in a 23-foot camper. And so he's like, <laughs> he came in here and slept the first night. He said, I had a hard time sleeping because there was too much room. <laughs> and that's, you know, that was the first thing he said. But he's been uh, real good for us. I'm not in the best of health, and so I, there's a lot of things I can't do. And he takes care of the heavy load. Oscar's, is, he, we have rabbits, we have goats. We had chickens, we got rid of them, and he takes care of them. He waters them, he, he feeds them, he does a, everything that we need him to do around here. He cleans the property and clears it for us. Uh, he's also, we take a trip, we have a motor home, we take a trip once a year and would be gone for a month or longer. And he's here and he's taking care of everything for us. He's, got, he's also our security. So he makes sure that everything's taken care of and he also makes sure that everything is still around when we come back. Let's go back a little bit. You, uh, so y'all purchased this, uh, the, the tiny home originally from Atlas. Tell us about that whole experience. Well, we went up there and we talked to him and and he gave us a price and we took and we thought about it and there's the land here it needed to be raised up a little higher for the septic system. So the, he didn't there was like a hundred dollar upgrade to have have it raised up another foot. And um, other than that, it was just, just it was easy. Just walk in and talk to the man, and and he tell him what you want, and he's he'll lay it all out for you. Well, when they showed up, it was about eight o'clock in the morning, and they started unloading stuff, and by one o'clock, they were packing stuff back up, ready to leave. When they came out. Everybody had a job, and they were putting, one guy was nailing up siding while the other guy was coming behind him painting, and they did a good job on everything, and they were so fast and so professional. I was really pleased with the crew that was sent out. They did a wonderful job. Of course, this was just a, a building, a shed, and we had to have it finished out. And we did, uh, we had, we fired two people, <laughs> and we finally got a third person in here that knew what he was doing and, and finished the rest of it out. We built the walls and did most of the plumbing. just it's been we've done we had houses rent houses before and I worked for AT&T for 30 years as a building mechanic and AC specialist so I'm I know about building and how to how to go about things and it ended up being pretty easy to do very good. I, if uh, So what would you tell somebody that perhaps they're looking at getting a tiny house um, and going down the same route you're going, what, what kind of advice would you share with them? I'd say, first of all, if you're going to build a tiny house and it's going to be a house you live in, get it foam insulated. It's the best money you can spend. And it is costly, but it's, it's well worth it. And 
make sure that with this house I had to uh, upgrade the rafters because there are two befores and then they have two the sixes. Every, every other one or every third one is a two by six. And I had them all turned into two by sixes so that the sheetrock would go up on the ceiling and we have a, a pitched roof. Uh, I thought about putting a loft in, but for what the storage area you get, it's not really worth it. You, you're better off with the height and and uh, the the openness. And that's and I would go with a 16 foot wide rather than a 14 foot. It wasn't real easy, but it was it wasn't all that difficult. It's the main thing is is get all your ducks in a row and, and don't go cheap. I've learned the hard way. <laughs> You don't go cheap. You go ahead and upgrade a little bit here and there on on the things that really matter. Most of the, I mean, I had all the, the tools and the tape and bedding and, and texturing and painting, and that's, it, it ended up being a pretty easy process. And I like the openness. That's the reason we did the pitch roof. And I, uh, with the foam, the lights are all countersunk and uh, they're easy to, to put in. But Oscar's been a real help to us and for him being here a year, I thought that we needed to do something for him. And he, he appreciates it. That's great. You said uh, last night was his first time standing here, huh? Last night was his first night sleeping here. And he, he's, he's moving in. He's getting in all this stuff out of the camper and bringing it in. So. Well, y'all have done a fantastic job finishing it out. It looks great. Is there anything else you would like to add? I think we did a pretty good job. And my better half has been a great help also.